thanks for joining me. Today, we have something really exciting to do. This week, you've been learning all about animals, and you've learned so much. You've learned that animals need to breathe air, they need to eat food, and they need to drink water, right? And they also need a special place where they can sleep. And that's called their shelter, where they live. So today, I thought that we could actually meet an animal and learn all about what it eats, what it drinks, and where it lives. But before we do that, you have to guess what kind of animal we're going to meet today. Because this animal is not like the animals you've been reading about in your books. Do you think you can guess what we're going to meet today? All right, here are some clues. This animal is really long. This animal does not have any arms or legs. It doesn't walk, it slithers. And this animal has a really long tongue. Did you figure it out? Right, it's a snake. Today, we're going to meet my pet snake, Goose. He's called Goose because he is a very silly goose. Are you guys ready to meet him? First, we're gonna check out his shelter, where he lives. All right, guys, let's go. All right, friends, welcome to Goose's home. This is Goose's enclosure. It's where he lives. He spends most of his time right in here. And there he is in the corner. Hi, Goose. All right, let's look around Goose's enclosure and see what we can find. Where do you think Goose's shelter is? Right, he actually has a couple of shelters. He has a little cave right here. He loves to sleep in that cave. He also likes to hang out under these leaves. I wonder if it reminds him of the forest. And he also has this silly little head that he can live in. Don't worry, friends, it's not real. It's just a Halloween decoration. But he does like to curl up in there and take a nap sometimes. What else do we see in Goose's enclosure? Yeah, water. This is Goose's big water dish. He drinks water every day, so I have to make sure it's always full of fresh, clean water for him to drink. What else do we see in Goose's enclosure? What's missing? Yeah, there's no food in here. I wonder why. Well, snakes actually don't eat every single day. They only eat about once a month. So I only give him food about once every month. And Mongoose has already eaten this month, so he doesn't need any food. So right now, there's no food in here for him. But don't worry, he's still eating. One thing you might notice is right over here in the corner, there's a black square. That black square is Mongoose's heating pad. He is a cold-blooded animal, which means that his body does not make heat like your and my bodies do. So he needs his own source of heat, especially in the winter. So I always keep that on for him so he can stay nice and warm. All right, friends. Now, it's really cool to see where Mongoose lives, I want to learn a little bit more about his body. So come on and join me back by the blackboard and we'll learn more about Mongoose. All right, friends, let's go. Hi, friends. Look who I've got. It's Goose. It was so fun to learn about where he lives, but I thought it'd be even more fun to actually come meet him. So I wanted to show you guys Goose and help you learn a little bit about his body. So first, we're going to take a look at his actual body. Before I show you his body, look at yours. You have something on you called skin. It's really soft and smooth. Now let's take a look at Mongoose's skin. 
do you see those little kind of diamond shaped things? And on the bottom, they're a little bit rectangular. These are called scales. Reptiles, like snakes, have scales covering their body. They're very smooth. I know they look slippery, but they're not. They're smooth and dry because they help keep water out of Mistake's body. So these are his scales all over his body. Let's take a look at other parts of his body. You see this little dangly part here? This is his tail. Now, if I stretch out his body, let's see if he'll let me do that. It might look like his whole body is the tail, right? Because it's really long. But actually, all of his organs, like his heart and his lungs and his stomach, they're all in his body here. But right here, that little part, that is his tail. Just that little part. The rest of it is his body. So here on my picture, you can see that is his tail. Now let's check out Mongoose's head. Compared to the rest of his body, it's pretty small, right? Let's see if I can get him to stop wiggling here. Come on. Good boy. Do you see that? That's his head. You can see his eyes, his mouth, and there's his tongue. His tongue comes right out of his mouth. And the funny thing about snakes' tongues is that they're actually using them to smell things. So the reason that Mon or that Goose's tongue is going out of his mouth so much right now is because he's really curious. There's lots of new smells in this room that he's never smelled before. So he wants to know what's going on. He also uses his eyes to see just like us. But you might notice he doesn't have any ears sticking out of his head. How do snakes hear? Well, it's actually too small to see, but on the side of his head, he's got little holes right back there. Those are his ears. That's what he uses to hear. So they don't stick out like our ears or like a cat's ears, but they can still hear a little bit. Not as well as we do. They mostly use their tongues to smell things and get around. That's how they go around their world. Wow, snakes are really cool. Oh, thank you so much for sharing your time and learning about Goose with me, but it seems like he's probably a little bit tired and wants to go back to bed. So it's time to say, bye Goose, say bye. He's too shy. All right, friends, thanks for joining us. I'll see you later. Bye.